शिवाय लेट्स आर लेटेस्ट सेट ऑफ अपडेट्स स्टार्टिंग विद रेडमी रेडमी इज गोइंग टू लॉन्च इट्स रेडमी टर्बो फोर प्रो दिस मंथ इन चाइना एंड इट विल बी पावर बाय स्नैपड्रैगन एट एस जेन फोर एसओसी But the interesting part is that this smartphone could launch in India by the name of Poco S7. MediaTek launched today. MediaTek Diamond City ninety four hundred plus. Chipset in the global market. Poco teased its Poco F7 TV smartphone, which would launch in India possibly next month, and Poco F7 Ultra will be powered by Snapdragon 8 Elite SoC, and Poco F7 will be powered by. Snapdragon 8s Gen 4 SoC. Vivo is going to launch its Vivo X 200 Ultra on 21st of April in China, and the smartphone will come with a photographic kit, which will have 200 megapixel telephoto camera attachment with 8.7x optical zoom and 2300 mAh battery. Oppo launched it Oppo Find X8 Ultra in China. This smartphone has 6.82 inch 2K resolution, 120 Hz refresh rate, 1600 nits HPM, Oppo Crystal Shield Glass Protection, AMOLED LTPO flat display. It is powered by Snapdragon 8 Elite SoC. It has LPDDR5 RAM, USB 4.0 storage. It is one to on ColorOS 15 based on Android 15. It has 50 megapixel Sony LYT 900 OIS main camera plus 50 megapixel Samsung JS5 Ultra wide plus 50 megapixel Sony LYT 700 3x telephoto plus 50 megapixel Sony LYT 600 6x telephoto quad rear camera setup with Hasselblad tuning 32 megapixel Sony IMX 615 selfie snapper it has 6100 mAh battery with 100 watt wired charging and 50 watt wireless charging it has ultrasonic in display fingerprint scanner IP68 and IP69 rating dual stereo speakers Wi-Fi 7 Bluetooth version 5.4 IR blast of coffee mode control customizable action button multi function NFC LHDC 5.0 x-axis linear motor 0916T for haptic a dedicated camera control button and USB type C 3.2 gen 1 port for charging and data transfer Oppo Find X8 Ultra is launched in three variants the price of 12 GB 256 GB variant is 6499 yuan that is around rupees 76000 the price of 16 GB 512 GB variant Is six triple nine yuan. That is around rupees eighty two thousand. And the price of satellite variant with a sixteen GB RAM and one TB storage is seven triple nine yuan. That is around rupees ninety four thousand. First official look of Nubia Red Magic Ten Air is here.
Samsung is going to launch it. Samsung Galaxy F56 5G on 17th of April in India. Realme is going to launch it. Realme GT7 on 23rd of April in China. And this smartphone will be powered by MediaTek Samsung 9400 Plus SoC. Xiaomi launched to it, Xiaomi X Pro QLED 2025 edition in India at the starting price of 29999 Realme launched to it, Realme Nargo 80 Pro 5G and the Realme Nago 80X 5G in India. IQ launched IQ Z10 and IQ Z10X in India. Omnivision launched its first 1 inch camera sensor OV50X in the global market. Motorola is going to launch it. Moto Pad 60 Pro and Moto Book 60 on 17th of April in India. Vivo launched to it Vivo V50e 5G in India. This smartphone has 6.77 inch 2K resolution, 120Hz refresh rate, 1800 nit peak brightness, AMOLED display. It is powered by MediaTek Diversity 7300 SoC. It has LPDDR 4x RAM and USS 2.2 storage. It has 5600 mAh battery with 90 watt power charge. It has 50 megapixel Sony AMX882 OIS main camera plus 8 megapixel ultra wide Galaxy Core GC08A8 plus Aura LED flash dual rear camera setup. 50 megapixel with autofocus Samsung S5KJ and one SQ03 selfie snapper. It runs on Funtouch OS 15 based on Android 15 with 3 years of Android OS update and 4 years of security updates. It has in-display fingerprint sensor, dual stereo speakers, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth version 5.4, IP68 and IP69 rating and USB Type-C port for charging and data transfer. Vivo V50e 5G is launched in two variants. The price of 8GB 128GB variant is rupees 28.99 and the price of 8GB 256GB variant is rupees 30.99. Oppo is going to launch it. Oppo K13 5G soon in India. Acer is going to enter into the smartphone segment by launching its new smartphone on 15th of April in India.
This is all in today's tech talk. I hope you like it. Signing out for now. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, save water, and please remember to wear the mask.